I am joined here by Ankita Rana, India's highest ranked women's tennis player. Ankita, uh, first of all, uh, what was your impression of the opening ceremony? Uh, I mean, it's great. You know, uh, this is why to play the sport. Uh, it's been, it's an honor. It's a dream to play for India to represent India. And for me, especially, I'm here uh, at the Asian Games for the third time. So yeah. it's it's a moment of pride for not just me, but you know, my whole family, my whole team back in India. Absolutely. And the last time you were there, you won a bronze in uh, Indonesia. Uh, yeah. What are you aiming for this time around? Well, uh, you know, whenever you step on court, you uh, want to go for the best. You go, you want to go for gold. And uh, yeah, last time um, I played against uh, the Chinese player Zhang Shui, and in a very close match, uh, I got the bronze. And this time, I want to try and change the color of the medal. So yeah, I'm prepared for that. Lovely. Um, and in fact, I remember the last time uh, you won the bronze. Uh, it felt as if it meant so much to you. And uh, first of all, talk to us about that experience and uh, what winning uh, at the Asian Games means to you personally. Yes, I mean, uh, you know, it was my first medal. Um, I had played, participated uh, in 2014 in the Asian Games at Korea. And um, in pa in Indonesia, I finally got my first medal. So that feeling is uh, tough to describe in words. And also when I came back home, when I came back to India, uh, we had such a warm welcome. You know, whenever I think about it, uh, I have goosebumps. Even when, you know, I landed back in Ahmedabad, uh, in Gujarat, um, the love and blessings of all the people, it meant so much. And, uh, yeah, that's, you know, the thing in tennis, actually, uh, you play throughout the year 25 to 30 tournaments. Um, and um, it's different kind of setup. But um, when you come to the games, like Asian Games and Olympics, uh, winning the medal, it, it's, it's a di completely different vibe. It's a different atmosphere. Absolutely. And uh, another another player that I want to talk to you about, uh, somebody that you have been very closely associated with is Rohan Bopana. And uh, this is possibly going to be his last dance. Uh, he has said this. Uh, how much has he influenced you in, in your career? Um, I played with Rohan uh, in the last Asian Games Mixed Doubles uh, in Indonesia. Uh, unfortunately, we uh, missed the chance of a medal. Uh, we were coming in as favorites. But uh, having the opportunity of, uh, you know, playing with him, uh, sharing the court with him. And um, I, it's, it's, you know, all that you want because uh, players like him and Sanya, uh, you know, they've achieved so much for the country and they are uh, a big inspiration for uh, Indian tennis. And um, his recent achievement, uh, you know, I don't have to mention it. Uh, clearly, he he proved that age is just a number. And, um, yeah, you know, representing, taking India uh, that far on that stage, you know, being uh, the only uh, Indian player to do that. So I think um, it's great motivation and uh, inspiration for all of us and uh, I wish him the best here. You see, um, I also want to talk about your coach uh, who is traveling with you this time around, Anvit uh, Bendre. And uh, uh, what, does, what does that mean to you uh, personally? Because uh, we have, you have been talking, you have talked about this earlier and uh, somebody traveling with you and uh, uh, is, is that going to be an advantage? Is that going to be an added help for you? Yes, um, uh, definitely, you know, having, I, um, it was my coach uh, uh, back in Pune, Heman Bindesa, with whom I've been uh, training for so many years. You know, it was his idea that, yes, we need to have a traveling coach um, or a physio. And um, I've been supported for my travel uh, by, 
with the Gujarat Government Sports Authority of Gujarat. But since last one year, um, at a very important time, uh, I got support from Puni Balan, so Puni Balan Group, and uh, that has been crucial because also, like I mentioned. Uh, couple times in my interview earlier that um, I it was difficult last year because I had COVID twice and um, health wise it took a toll it took almost six months to uh, get back to the rankings and physically and also in terms of performance where I was but thankfully at that time I had uh traveling coach with me also sometimes physio so Anvit was there when I got COVID for the second time so you know that was really helpful and with tennis the thing is that you travel 25 to 30 weeks in a year and then that there's not much time to uh, work uh, on your game or you know so when I got this opportunity I got the support from uh, Puneet Balan group that helped me to work um, on on my game, on my training, why I was playing tournaments. So I think that has been key, and then that helped me to th- climb back into the rankings, back into top two hundred, and back in the qualifying of Grand Slams. Uh, a very important thing uh, also happened to Indian tennis, and especially uh, with you, you almost reached the uh, the U.S. Open this time around. Uh, tell us how soon can we see you in a Grand Slam? I personally feel it's it's not far, you know, main draw for slam. Um, there was, in 2020, when uh, in Fed Cup in March, when we were in Dubai and we qualified for the first time for the World Group's play, uh, playoffs, uh, during that period, I felt that, uh, you know, I was speaking and I was really looking forward to playing at the bigger stage at the slams but then covid hit so um, that there was not much in our control and uh, then yeah slowly coming back uh, from the health part uh, last year which i mentioned and now finally this year at us open uh, getting to the final qualifying round uh, previously in 2021 uh, in the austrian open i had reached the final qualies there as well so um, I can definitely say that I feel a much more confident and uh, that I will be at the remainder of the slam soon with all the support. When you talk about uh, Indian tennis, uh, especially women in Indian tennis, there has been uh, there has been a lull in um, Indian tennis uh, for some time. Do you feel that the likes of uh, these new players, uh, somebody like uh, a Karman Kaur, Tandi, somebody like Abhipasha, somebody like uh, Reshma, uh, with those now uh, in the circuit, uh, do you see Indian tennis, uh, especially female uh, women's tennis going uh, ahead? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Carmen has been with us. She's here with us in the team and, you know, she also has, she played the US Open qualifying and she's also played a couple events at the WTA Tour. So, yeah, I think it's just a matter of time and um, exposure. I feel, uh, especially with the junior players, you know, coming up, there's the thing is that the transition from juniors to seniors to women, that is very challenging. And that's where you need a lot of support because uh, support, I mean, um, not just from family, but also like financial support because that's the time where you have to face a lot of losses and uh, you need a strong support system and uh, you need to uh, you need to have that ability to take losses. What is that uh, one message that you want to give out to all the people who are looking ahead uh, uh, to the Asian Games and looking ahead to you especially uh, to go out and win a goal this time? I just want to say, please, please, uh, let's just everyone pray that India, Indian contingent this time has the most number of medals. I think uh, it would be nothing like it. All right, uh, Ankita, thank you very much for uh, speaking with NDTV. And uh, we all hope and we all wish that uh, your bronze turns to gold this time around. Thank you, India.